So my baby sister told me that she wanted lightning nails and she wanted them with a black base with a blue lightning bolt. So I went and decided to start with a white gel polish. You can use a art polish. You can use a pigmented gel polish. I'm not exactly sure at the time of recording this what I was using. I have a tendency to use Madame Glam Perfect White. Um, but she, like I said, you can use any art gel polish that you want. I was going and trying to figure out how to do this design. And it really put me in mind, if you have been a subscriber for a while, of some neon nails that I've done. So I really approached this the same way. So we're starting off with a bright white base. Like I said, your best, you know, gel polish, gel liner that you want to use. I'm using a striper brush, a long striper brush. And I'm drawing these lines. So I recommend that you look up. I literally did. Don't have a clip of it, but I literally went on Google and um, looked at lightning, at lightning bolts and how it looked and the angles in which, you know, it came down and how it went across the sky. And I tried to emulate that. What I found, the mistake that I made, is having the lines too curvy. You don't want to put a lot of curve in the line. You want to have harsh kind of angles, many angles, but you want to make sure they're there. So try to not curve them. You'll see on some that I did too many lightning bolts. It went kind of like eyeliner. I just kept on going and going. So you'll see me use the brush also in different directions. Um, again, that's in hopes of getting those angles. So you'll see me kind of backstroke at some points. And this finger really looks like coral or something, but we went with it. Now we're going to use Milk Bath, and this is from Daily Charm. You can use discount code Tabitha in the number 10. Information will be in the description bar. And once we cured that initial bright white, we're taking this, this Milk Bath color. And I'm using a medium striper brush. I'm using this one particularly because it's a little bit wider, and that's what we want. We want to trace the original lines that we had, but we want to trace it wider. And this is going to give the illusion of a cast of light around it. Now, once we go in on each nail and outline it, we're going to go ahead and cure. You can do this in more steps if you want it to be more elaborate. We can do kind of sort of this ombre where we go from bright white, uh, medium white. If you mix the milk bath and a bright white color together, and then you can do the edge with milk bath or even something more transparent. Again, you can look up my neon nails. I'll put that in the description bar as well. You can check out that video just to see this process done a little more elaborately. So after I went and outlined with Milk Bath, I cured. And then I'm going to take a sheer blue jelly color. I was trying to experiment the best way to go about this. And if I should just put it over the white lines, over the entirety of the nail. I decided it was easier to do it over the entirety of the nail since we have that black base. This doesn't always translate, especially with hot pink colors, if you ever experienced it. So this color is Heartbreaker from Madame Glam. There is a discount code in the description bar as well, and you can shop with the link. So I'm just taking and applying this color all over, and I'm managing how sheer this color is based on the angle of my brush. If you hold it at a higher angle, you have more sheer color, less um, gel output. And then I also wanted to experiment with going back and highlighting that bright white color in the center, but I felt it honestly took away. After that, I went ahead and top coat with my favorite no wipe top coat, not any particular one, but whichever one I was feeling at the time. And that is our final look. Go ahead and comment a lightning bolt emoji and let me know if you're going to try out this look. And if you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, Tabitha Scott underscore nails. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Bye.